Hey everyone, Greg Pugh here with GP Animations. Uh, today I'm going to do an overview of software I just discovered last night called Mischief. The website is madewithmischief.com. It's vector drawing software, kind of like Flash and Illustrator, except it doesn't really have a pen tool or animation uh, properties, but it's still a great drawing tool from what I've seen so far, from just what I've been able to play around with it. If you'd like to, there's a free trial for 15 days and it's available for both Windows and OS 10 Macintosh computers. Uh, they do recommend that you use a drawing tablet to fully utilize all of the features so I'll be using my Wacom tablet for this one. Uh, they have a gallery here where you can see how people have just been creating great works of art using this software. It's very impressive. Even Spider-Man drawn with it very nice. So here's the uh, layout. It looks a lot like Sketchbook Pro, except Sketchbook Pro is uh, bitmapped and this is vector. You have your drawing tools, your layers, your uh, erasers, brushes, pencils, color, you change the opacity, the width of the brush. I'm going to change this to crosshair in the preferences. And I'll show you a quick demo here. This is just something I thought was pretty cool. So here's a smiley face. So say you wanted to actually like do a very detailed drawing, something that's a lot nicer than a smiley face. Well since it's vector, you can do an infinite amount of zoom. So we can zoom in on this guy here. Using the space bar, you can uh, move the screen around or the canvas. Switch back to your pencil tool. Let's put a little smiley face in here. And then you can zoom in again. Change the pencil tool. Do another smiley face. You'd zoom in again. And I was just impressed with this. Not Obviously this example isn't that useful, putting a bunch of smiley faces inside eyeballs. But it's just impressive that you can keep zooming in. Like even Flash has a limit of how far you can zoom in on a drawing. And then when you zoom out you can't see anything anymore. The uh, benefit of this is in a realistic scenario you can get in really close to your drawing and do fine details like lace or like if you're drawing a very detailed eye you can draw the pupil very detailed with different shades of colors and opacities so here we see our smiley face we could zoom out see that it was actually in the eyeball of another smiley face we could zoom out see that was in the pupil of another smiley face <laughs> zoom out so that's pretty crazy obviously this like I said, this one's not a very realistic example, but if you wanted to to detail, like say on his mouth, you could zoom in, get in here, and then you want to do even more finer details, zoom in, maybe draw some taste buds or something, and then when you're done, zoom out. And if you're going to be publishing for like a billboard, you will actually see these dots versus, you know, on the web. Which gets me over to exporting. You can export a selection with the selection tool here. And you can just export that if you wanted to. Or you can export everything on the canvas. And you have two options. Here you can change the resolution. So if you're going to do, say, like a billboard, you can do 600 dpi. If you're just going to be doing this for mobile applications, you can keep it at 72. And then you can actually export a PSD file. So you can open Photoshop, convert everything to PNGs or sprite sheets, whatever you need to do for your apps or just your artwork. Or if you just wanted to, you know, throw it on the web, on your website or to Facebook or Twitter, you can just export out the JPEG. So overall, I think this is a really cool piece of software, and the benefit of this over something like Flash, 
well now you can rent Flash, but like if you were to buy CS6 outright, is this software is only $65 for a license. So you can try it out for 15 days. If you're really happy with it, like I am, you can upgrade to the uh, full license for only $65 US. So give it a shot. Check out mewithmischief.com and tell me what you think on my blog.